First tonight, a horrific crash hundreds of miles away, now with a Charlotte connection. This hit and run happened about a month ago near Miami. It killed a mother and her two children. Well, the man authorities say was behind the wheel of that car, was caught by U.S. Marshals here in the Charlotte area. Good evening to you. I'm Brian Blakely. And I'm Alicia Barnes. Well, the news of that arrest coming as a sigh of relief for so many tonight, but there are still questions on what he was doing here. Queen City News reporter Derek Dellinger has the details of what we know so far. Dashcam video shows the moment it all happened. Video taken from two more angles show how bad it was and the aftermath. All this happened back on June 27th near Miami. Cindy Orsatez and her two daughters, 15-year-old Sophia and 12-year-old Maria, were in the car that was hit. They all died in the crash. But the man police say was behind the wheel of the car that hit them, eluded them for weeks before finally catching up with him in Charlotte. I'm taking it, I don't want to say day by day. I, was, I have to say I'm taking it minute by minute. There is sometimes an hour can be good, another hour can be extremely, extremely bad. Samir Saidi is the husband of Cindy and the father of Marie and Sophia. He's been waiting a month to hear the news that Julius Bernstein had been caught. We are very appreciative of all the efforts that uh, the police department, to some extent, it gives us, you know, some relief in our hearts. Not much is known right now on the Charlotte side of this case. U.S. Marshals say they caught up with Bernstein Tuesday afternoon here on several open warrants that weren't even related to the crash, but they didn't say exactly where or how. Reports out of South Florida say Bernstein had an extensive criminal history and even at one point lost his driving privileges. Those reports also say Bernstein ran off after the crash, jumping a fence. The deaths of the mother and her daughters have left a huge hole in the community there. Saidi spoke at a recent vigil for his wife and daughters. My loss is very, very great, and my heart is broken. The whole family says Bernstein's arrest is the beginning of closure. It gives us relief to know that he is caught and he's not able to cause the pain and suffering that he, he has caused to our family. Derek joins us now live at CMPD headquarters in Uptown. And Derek, you mentioned there are, is not a lot of information here in the Charlotte side of this uh, case. Is there any indication of how long the Bernstein may have been here and was he just passing through? Uh, that is a very good question, and that's something that we are still trying to figure out. We did some digging of our own and found out that Bernstein didn't really have any family or associates to speak of here, and there's no real connection to this area. So we're still trying to figure that part of it out. Uh, he is also right now in jail in Union County, and so that adds an extra layer of a bit of mystery on something we're still trying to figure out why he was arrested. They specifically say he was arrested in Charlotte, but he's in jail right now in Union County. We're still trying to figure out why on that, and as soon as we have that answer, we will let you know. Brian and Alicia back. All right, yeah. Uh, U.S. Marshals took him into custody here in Charlotte, hoping to get a little bit more information on that. Derek, thanks.